What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I'm creating stickers in Kittle. Kittle makes it really easy to do print on demand design because they've just got a really intuitive web-based uh, design application and what I love about designing in general is I like to keep things simple. You guys know I'm not the best graphic designer, but it certainly doesn't stop me from making a lot of print on demand sales. So in this video, it's just going to be a tutorial of a couple ways you can go about making stickers. I'm also going to show you a Redbubble shop from a recent episode of Redbubble shop reviews that I'm drawing inspiration from because I really liked how they did their stickers. So let's get right to it. Quick plug, I put together a free print on demand mini course delivered via email. You can find the link in the description. I'll send you one lesson a day for eight days. And I've got a great print on demand Facebook group that I hope you'll take advantage of. All right, let's jump on over to Kittle. Actually, follow me over to Redbubble first. I wanted to show you the shop that uh, I'm drawing inspiration for this video from. Uh, I just really like how this shop is uh, Anghel Apparel. That is their shop from the Philippines on Redbubble. Uh, I just really like their design style, you know, and it's very similar to how I typically approach my designs. Uh, in this case, I don't know if they're optimizing for stickers or if they're just sh letting stickers be the primary product you see, because on Redbubble, we know stickers sell really well. But from even simple color schemes, like maybe they have three colors in the scheme, or a lot of times if I scroll, you'll notice that they just do like a flat color, you know, and it seems like they've got kind of a pre-selected range of colors that they are typically using in their designs, uh, whether it's black, orange, red, you know, they got some sunsets in there, but I really like how they uh, just approach design in general. It's very similar to my personal preference for design style. So that's inspiring this Kittle sticker design video. All right, I am here on Kittle and I'll zoom in a little bit. Now you can always click into the search bar and type in like sticker. Um, there may or may not be, you know, something optimized for something so specific. Like I know they do a lot of, uh, well, you can see at the top there, social cards, posters, t-shirts, labels, logos, etc. cetera. Uh, it all depends on what people tag their templates and their designs with. Um, certainly some of these can work like, uh, that first one, the love wins and that's just simple text, but I feel like that's like actually got a lot of potential on stickers. Uh, but I wanted to just show you guys how I might do this from scratch. So I'm going to go to new project in the top right corner. Okay, it has loaded in. Now, I don't know why, but I like to make the background uh, something darker. So like I'll do 222, 222, hex code, make it gray. Um, I don't know why, it's just like creature of habit. Even when I'm like coding, I set the notepad plus plus background to, to basically this color. So I like the darker color backgrounds. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is let's go back over to Redbubble really quickly. And let's just quickly, I tried to drag that window over kind of come up with something. All right, straight from the top, we have a bunch of pumpkin spice and everything nice stickers. So why don't we make our own version of uh, something like this, right? I think we can do that in Kittle pretty easily and make it look good. And I, I'm going to borrow the idea of like that flat color scheme where we keep it all one color. Okay. So let's go ahead. I had that my, I have that on my side monitor for inspiration, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to elements on the left hand side and then you can search I'm gonna type in coffee all right and we've got a bunch of coffee graphics to choose from we can really just use whichever one we think is gonna best fit our design now when I think of pumpkin spice lattes I don't know about you guys but I think more or less of like a Starbucks cup and I'm definitely guilty of having gone and gotten one uh, just last week actually so I'm gonna use this picture of a uh, what do we call it? I always want to call it like a latte cup, but I don't know if that's anything to do. Like I'm definitely not a coffee guy. Um, not that I don't drink it, but I'm just not the type of person that goes to get coffee um, that regularly at all. Uh, <laughs> I'm just all about efficiency. So for me, I'm like, okay, how long does it take me to get in the car, to drive, to get there, to wait in line, to get back? Yeah, I, I, it would just kill me. So anyways, um, I got this coffee cup here. Star let's call it a Starbucks cup, even though it has no logo, so we're not infringing. Uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll go to the object color and why don't we pick like a, I don't know, like a more fall color. So how about something orangish like that for now? I think that looks good. So I'll go ahead and I'll leave that. We'll probably make it smaller as well because we want to put text above and below. So now on the left-hand side, instead of elements, we're going to click text and I'm going to click add headline. Okay. And it automatically adds the text there. I'm going to move this headline above. I'm going to change it to say pumpkin spice in all uppercase because I like to use all uppercase when I'm doing print on demand, generally speaking. Uh, notice when I click color to change the text color, it already has that orange or orangish brown that we just used. So I can just go ahead and click it and now it automatically applies that. 
for me so it matches the graphic. Next, above my head here, all right, I'm gonna click where it says circle. All right, and you'll notice that it makes it round perfectly. Uh, it's much easier to do in Kittle than in Photoshop where you've seen me do other tutorials. Uh, and now it's kind of like up to me to eyeball if we wanna make this text bigger, smaller, etc. For now, I'm gonna put it at 110, but we can always change this later if need be. Uh, but not bad, right? I mean, this is a quick tutorial. We don't need it to take longer than it needs to take, all right? So now we can go ahead and click add headline again. Or you know what else we could do actually is we could just duplicate this one so I can just click it and copy paste all right and I've duplicated it you can see I'll drag it down and then all I have to do is um, when you have the circle text selected right underneath where it says circle to the right I'll point it out on my green screen here uh, there is something that says direction inverted so you can click that and now it flipped it upside down and it basically completes the circle so what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to uh, make the text smaller and I'm gonna make it say and everything nice okay and again much easier than Photoshop Kittle will just kind of figure out how it needs like what size it needs to be and I can either key in what font size to make it or and that'll that'll affect how wide the circle is I definitely I definitely do want it to kind of line up with the the top portion uh, so you can see then I can also just click and drag the corner of the text and make it bigger or smaller. So it's really whatever I want it to be. We have flexibility, can make the bottom uh, bigger or the top uh, smaller in this case. Also, I didn't even play around with the font, but like, you know, the default is Roboto. It's actually one that I love from my web development days, uh, but I could definitely play around with what other fonts they've got going on. It looks like a lot of them, oh, there we go. Okay, how about that? Adventurer 06, I think actually looks really nice. Uh, for the purpose of what we're using it here for I'm gonna experiment with letter spacing you can you can do that in uh, Kittle as well so I set it to 25 pixels maybe I'll even try 50 so pumpkin spice and then I'm gonna match the bottom font where did it go adventure 06 is what we used I just clicked 07 okay and everything nice I'm gonna change the letter spacing to 50 there as well pumpkin spice and everything nice. I think that looks pretty darn good. And if we're going back over here, um, they also had some, we don't have to copy it by the way, but I'm just saying they also added some of these like little pumpkin icons in between the um, upper text and bottom text. So why don't we just go ahead and do that really quickly. So in Kittle, left-hand side, go to elements, type in pumpkin in this case, if we want a pumpkin. And I'll just use this uh, flat one, like very simple. Notice I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna go to object color, and then I'm gonna select that same color that we used in the rest of our design. Copy, paste, boom, done. And guys, how about that? I mean, that was about as easy as it gets in terms of creating a design, creating a nice looking sticker. You export this. If you want, you can, I mean, with Redbubble guys, we get 50 or 60 uploads a day. So you can easily also just make two versions. Like if you don't like the, uh, whatever coffee cup we called it, the Starbucks cup, uh, again, make two versions and upload both to Redbubble, right? There's no there's no harm done there. Uh, as long as you're using your daily upload slots, I mean, keep in mind, like, the sales that we make are typically a function of what we're selling. So you see, I just made a second version of the sticker right there. Don't forget, when you download, top right corner, just click the um, download icon here, and uh, you're good to go. Now, I mean, what I would do is I would download it um, without the background, and what you may want to do is you may want to, like, draw a circle behind it and just make it a, a flat color so that you don't get any gaps between the text and the icons here. But that's really up to you. Like you, I do recommend do one full upload first and see how Redbubble renders the mockup so you get an idea of how it's gonna look when the um, final product is done. Cause you may or may not have any issues. It all depends on how close together you kind of put the elements in your design. And that again, is completely up to you. You see, like I just brought it all and condensed it some. And now that I've done that, I think this will be just fine in terms of like when the final sticker is um is printed all right guys so check out kittle i always have a link at the top of the description it was very easy to make a really nice looking sticker so i'm glad that um got that done and didn't mess it up at all and kittle makes it easy very intuitive uh graphic design application for us print on demand sellers so thank you to them and that's it guys thank you for watching the video please like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you soon with a new video